All right. This is the new event thing. Oh, there's a little... What is this? Who is this man? Oh, God damn it. I hate how this game takes... Everything takes control of your camera every time. No, I don't want that. Um... You want to take a picture? No, you got to take a picture of the quest fish, which I mean usually is nice. Ugh, no, back to the... What? Oh, they changed the stupid camera! They just... <laughs> they just had to, like, do an update to undo the camera change. And now they changed it back, but I guess you can change the default. But... <sighs> no, I don't want... What? Who is this? Who the hell is this man? Tap 15 times. Oh, great. Juvenile French angelfish. Hello, friend. I love how we've totally abandoned any trappings of the pole. Any attempt at, like, being, oh, ha, the, he, these are polar fish and creatures. No. Just angelfish. Tropical fish, butterfly fish, kangaroo rats. Just n nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing is, is polar anymore. I think they kind of realized very quickly, oh, not not a lot of fish actually exist at the pole, so this was a terrible idea, and the events are kind of like, oh, okay. So this is Dr. Owl. How do we zoom in? I can't zoom in with... Crap. I'm using an emulator, so I can't really zoom in, but he's... It's an owl in a top hat. We can see that much. The pixels are a little bit crispy. I'm sorry for that, but you, you get the gist. Um, if it's a question about Abyssrium, please just read the guide. I can pretty much guarantee it's already been answered. I, I hate to be like that, but like, seriously, I get thousands of questions that all have already been answered every time. It's really, really frustrating. Um, I just really hate how if you tap something, the camera focuses on it in this game. Especially because, look at, watch this. This is the worst thing. Alright, I'm gonna upgrade some coral, right? I'm gonna upgrade coral, and then it like, zooms in, and then it didn't happen that time. But you'll do that, and then it'll zoom in, and then you'll click a different thing, like this jerk in particular, and then another menu pops up, it's like, oh. Oh. Wow. Abyssrium Pole brings, like, no viewers, huh? I was kind of curious about that. I don't usually stream the Abyssrium Pole stuff. I kind of feel like no one gives a crap about Abyssrium Pole, which is basically where I'm at. Who is this? They added new crap into the game, I guess. Receive Meadow. Oh, thanks! Oh my, I was just gonna complain. Guys, I was just gonna complain about this. Uh, events are so much less cool. Um, events are so much less cool. Now there, we're talking! I was just about to, to kvetch about this because events in Abyssrium Pole are so uninteresting because you have to pay out your ass in pearls to get anything that even makes it look like an event. And I don't have, you know, 5,000 pearls to spend every month on some stuff. Um, and so, because of that, I th there's no visual indication that I'm even playing an event. It's only the event fish, right? So it just doesn't- the events in pole just feel terrible. They, they feel so unfestive. Alright, so I gotta make three of these boys. I intentionally avoided buying fish. Just read the guide, please. I already know that it's probably going to be that, because it's that every time that we do the stream stuff. Oh, did you freeze? Cool. Wow. Quality game. <laughs> quality, good quality game. I, I love, this is why I love Abyssrium. This is why everyone knows that I love Abyssrium. Is this a little loud? I didn't notice with the audio mixer. It's Asimoto and Dungeon Beast. This game was the go-to. I mean, the original, I mean, when this game launched, it was pretty all right. Before the events, and that's why when I did the Abyssrium World video, I was like, you know what? The events kind of ruined the game, because I don't, the thing with Pole, I think, they didn't know what the hell to do with it. They're like, all right, we'll put all the polar fish in, and then they realized, oh, there's not actually a lot of life at the pole because it's really goddamn cold, huh? And then it's just like, oh, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing we can do with this anymore. So they just started putting tropical fish in and calling it events. Even though the, the events, as you can see, it's a myth event. Remember the myth of the juvenile French angelfish? <laughs> it's not a story that the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. 
No, <laughs> none of these are myths. Even the kangaroo rat, kangaroo rats aren't myths. I like them, they're cool. B -b -b but what's a myth got to do with that? An Arabian ox, Arabia has mysteries or oryx, whatever it is. Dude, just don't. Why do people do this? Why would you even, <laughs> I hate to rag on somebody too hard, but why the hell would you ask, can I ask a question? Just ask the goddamn question. I <laughs> hate that. Why? You're, uh, you mean, can I ask two questions? And that's a much bigger ask than one question. This is the only thing even close to like looking mythological and it's just literally just a butterfly, but it glows. Wait, where's the event? Like, like I was saying, where's the event? This Greek tortoise, Greece has events, yes. But there are Greek, Greece has myths, but, but, and the Greece has myths about turtles, but not this particular tortoise. That's just a regular tortoise. I know I said turtle and tortoise, and I know people be mad at me for that, but it's fine to the same thing. Um, but I was just going to complain that yes, the the, the event, the events in poll, uh, well, every, I honestly, there's no, there's no part of events in poll that I do like. I just, I gotta be brutally honest. Uh, it doesn't feel like an event. It is a little bit better that we get to die for free. Um, that is kind of all right, but look at this. So the theme, I, I mythic sky and ocean. I was just about to say, I don't even know which one is which. Like the violet sea and sky, I think that's part of the Egyptian event. What does violet sea and sky have to do with Egypt? Like there's no, what? what's the connection here? It's just colors. And they're really expensive, and they only give you a discount inside this thing. So I could either spend, you know, look at this. I could spend almost 2,000 pearls to get this. Which doesn't, again, doesn't really look very mythical. Do, do you remember the, the myth of purple plants? I mean, I like purple plants, but was, <laughs> how is this Greek myth? I don't remember any Greek myth. Greek I mean, let's Google Greek myth, purple plants. 20 ancient Greek myths about 20 ancient Greek flowers. I'm not gonna say I'm wrong, but this is closer to being real than I thought. But I mean, not really. There's not really a, a myth about purple flowers being like, you know, just that's the whole thing. Um, but like, to actually make it look like an event, you need to spend, and even if you bought, look at, look at, this is nothing. You spend almost 2,000 pearls, and you get some stupid little arches, and that's all. Meanwhile, the more reasonable thing to spend, and that only gives you a bonus in the event, which you'll, you know, finish up not too long from starting. Um, and otherwise, you could buy, like, I could double my vitality production for that same cost, for everything. And I could get a new creature. It's so... The events in Pole are so bad, and Pole... Pole is one of the major reasons that I'm not really too super excited for, um, Hoozy Wats it. For the new game. Uh, Abyssrium World. Because they did not handle Pole well. Like at all. Um, all they do, they release... Stuff, and the reason everything in Pole is so goddamn expensive. What? Oh, it didn't save that I bought them before because of that glitch. I'm just gonna have to like save very often or something. Get free pearls. Oh, God damn it. Every, this is another thing I was gonna complain about in the events. The Abyssrium poll events also, just look at the absolute difference in the amount of people watching for poll. Um, my Abyssrium poll videos get one tenth the views and I would say I'm, I have about one fifth to one tenth of the um, concurrent live stream viewers right now is this, if this was a new Abyssrium event. People, they just didn't give a shit about poll, and it shows so bad. And then, you know, when you don't care about a game, people don't care about your game for you. So, uh, yeah, it sucks. But I was just going to do a, an Abyssrian poll post-mortem, post and I was like, oh, okay. Um, and look, <laughs> there's a cat. That's like all they can, all they know how to do, put non-sea creature that is stereotypically cute in-game, put a price tag on it. That's all they know how to do. That's the only, that's the only remaining skill. In the developers thing um okay so hold on we're gonna watch an ad here hold on uh it's really, um... there's no reason to actually listen to the game audio let's just listen to my own video here 
Is this a little too quiet? It's a little more quiet on my video, but we'll fix that. Okay. And now we need... We need a nice relevant image to uh, cover up the screen here because we're going to have... Let's get... Um... Where's Father Scallop? There he is. There's that man. There's that beautiful man. Oh, how you doing, Father Scallop? Hey, kids. How you doing? Been a little while. Thanks, Father Scallop. Brush your teeth. All right, so I'm gonna watch this ad. Exciting gameplay. I'm gonna watch an ad. It's for regular <laughs> mystery. I'm not even kidding. It's for the same goddamn game that made me get this game. Uh, wait, is this live or is it premiere? I mean, I'm reading the chat, so the chat is very inactive. Oh, I guess I can put chat on screen, can't I? Let me do that. Um, I forgot to do that. I, I wasn't planning to stream this. This just came out just all of a sudden. I wasn't even expecting it. Let me put chat on top of Father Scallop. Maybe people don't realize it's live because I don't have the chat thing up, so sorry about that. But yeah. Not kidding, by the way. What, what, what ad do I get while playing Abyssrium Pole? Oh, just tap tap a fish Abyssrium. What is this game? Wow. You know, I do like fish games. I sure will check this one out. Hmm. Hey, Angel. So, great. At least we get our fish. Make a post about the live stream. I did make a post about the live stream. I posted on the Discord, I posted on Twitter and Facebook. All right, we got the very mythical. Look look how mythical this boy is. Man, I tell you, legends, Greek legends have been told about the Arabian angelfish. Did you know that once a, an Arabian angelfish ate God? That seems like a Greek myth, right? So, very subcategory individuals. <laughs> what do you mean individuals? Category fishes. Fishes. Oh, by the way, everything is a friend now. Did you notice that? Um, they're all friends. It's create friends. Where's, I can't even find, like, the manage, they're friends now. Paul's friend placed friends which i love that we went from fish to creatures to friends which if you're making a guide where people google like how to get things that's wonderful i love that because now i have to change the copy and all my guides again because they can't decide on anything i don't even care i don't care if it's friends creatures fish just keep the same damn thing right and they're obviously just supposed to be fish like it's a fish icon don't don't give me that crap but whatever. Um, so let's just keep going down the fish list. Own three Arabian angelfish. But I clearly have two, but it doesn't... Whatever. Also, it says live stream in the title. I, I, I hope that would be clear. What? No. Oh, you bricks. Oh, oh, I didn't make one. Never mind. Oh, I thought I was reading this as you have two Arabian angelfish. Never mind. The UI. They changed the UI and it's weird and confusing now. I mean, it's not that weird and confusing, but it is, it's different. I don't like different things. Keep things the same. Don't make me wear a mask. Anyway, get free vitality. Oh, god damn it. There's always, there's always just make, th make five fish, watch five ads. That's the only unlocks. Look at this. Buy fish, buy fish. Watch ads, buy fish, buy fish, watch ads 30 times, watch ads 8 times, buy fish, watch ads, watch ads, buy fish, watch ads, buy fish. This is the only, f it's the only goddamn unlock they know how to do. It's the same shit every goddamn time. And now I gotta put Father Scallop up again, because we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch another ad, kids. Isn't this fun? Are you guys having fun? As much fun as I am. But I'm gonna do a video, kind of picking apart how this game, frankly, failed. And I'm pretty sure that it did fail. Even in terms of their expectations, because I get so little views on poll. It was really only the first month that I got any kind of reasonable amount of, um, of stuff. Gotta make money somehow. But I mean, just regular events always made you watch ads and stuff. 
See, if you got, if you need to make vitality in this game, you have to watch ads. You just have to watch. Um, you have to do most of the skill recharge ad, right? Um, so just by making it, everything cost regular vitality, you have to watch ads to to progress in this game. So just by making, just by tying progress to to regular vitality, they've already forced you to watch ads, which you know it's reasonable. But the unlock conditions are literally just, hey, go watch an ad, stupid. And it sucks. There has to be more than that. There has to be some kind of gameplay. There has to be something that makes you want to watch the ads in order to like gain that progress. You don't feel like you're making any kind of progress in pull. You just feel like you're watching ads. And especially bad is that, okay, so I have two whole hidden fish left to get, right? I need to get the bride whale. Um, the gap between the last thing I got, which I think was the Siberian Crane, um, I got that at like C or like D, A vitality, right? I got it a billion years ago. The next fish takes forever. Look at, I have to get these last two coral and I have to get them to insane levels. And it's just, but what happened to the feeling of progress? Like Abyssrium pole or a regular Abyssrium, um, it feels pretty good until you get to the part where you have to, um, basically the green, what is it? The, the giant green kelp. That takes forever to get. That, that's ridiculous. Um, everything up until that isn't that bad. Um, but this, it's like, it's just, you have fun. Mostly. I mean, it's still watching a lot of ads, and like I said, it's not the worst thing in the world when it's just like watching an ad to do real progress. But then you get to a point where it's just, hey, um, you're gonna have to watch like 5,000 ads and go like, I think I need to get to like SU vitality or something, somebody said, to get the, the level of deep an enemy that I'm gonna scream. I hate. What other game? Do you play where you can scroll around the menu and you accidentally click on something else and then it activates that thing? I never have that problem in any other game. That's ridiculous. That's so that's such an abyssrium problem. No other game could have that problem but this game. So <laughs> it's this the stuff like this is why I'm a little bit skeptical. I'll just a little bit of um abyssrium world. I hope I'm wrong, of course. I I, I like when games are good. Isn't that strange? I like when I can enjoy a game, so I do hope the poll learns from their mistake. Er, poll, um, who's he wants it? Learns from its mistake. I'm gonna move chat up a little bit. It's not much interesting at the top there, anyway. Let's put that there. Um, I would say Abyssrian poll was fun. What the hell is what is this? Free creation tickets to create any friends after watching the- Oh, they, they added in a new reason to make, watch an ad. Which, whatever. Making a new fit. I do kind of like the concept of that. You get something out of buying the fish. Though the thing is, if the price still increases, that ad is basically worthless. I mean, if it, I guess it's to fix the thing where sometimes you just can't make fish, like, ever. Because this game slows to a crawl. So, I don't- I'm having aneurysm. I hate the treasure chest so goddamn much. Um, it should not. Uh, they changed like the background. Let's make a. No, let's not make a stone. I like stones, but. Um, but yeah, the the game was fun up until I made the humpback whale. It was a little annoying. Some of these things where you have to make like twenty of the same fish that sucked, and I didn't like that. But um, yeah. That everything else, like, everything after that, which there's only, like, two fish after that. Like, it just grinds to a halt and feels like they had no idea how to fill in that gap. It feels like they had no idea what to actually do to make the game have any sort of gameplay, I guess. And so you just end up with um, just this huge gap to keep you playing. And the weird thing is, they have a thing to keep you playing. It's events. So... Why was it necessary to put that that far down? The, the, the pacing could have been a lot better. And I will say, honestly, in poll, if you're playing actively, up through the humpback whale, 
Things are, if anything, maybe a little bit too fast. I was making like a few creatures a day, which it feels very good. But considering they want the game to be slower, I guess it was too fast. But they could have just given it more space, like spread things out just a little bit more. And it would feel a lot less bad going for the Bride Whale. Though I still think the amount the amount of grind for the Bride Whale is just completely ridiculous. Skill recharge two times. See, again, make fish, watch ads. Make fish, watch ads. Now in the old thing, they used to be like, oh, you gotta click the train, it got, the train goes around, you gotta share, share a thing. You gotta like, you know, it, it was like inventive things and like, I really hope Pole gives us, or not Pole, I keep thinking Pole is the new game. Abyssrium World, I hope Abyssrium World gives us interesting things to do. But considering Pole, like Pole, <laughs> the biggest thing with Pole is that it learned nothing from the original game, I don't think. Um, the, f the free vitality ad actually gives you a decent amount of vitality. The, the photo quest actually gives you a decent amount of vitality. Th those are good things. Um, the hidden fish, fish thing, that is neat. But then the events don't have hidden fish, which makes this completely useless. Um, I, I think they thought hidden fish weren't fun. Which, again, I don't think, I don't think the developers play their own game. I have to. I'm sorry to keep putting Father Scallop up on screen, but I have to keep watching ads to make progress, which is so fun and engaging. Play this game, didn't like it, and delete it. Yeah, I think that's what most of us ended up doing. I mean, I didn't, I pretty much abandoned it after the second upgrade. I, the, the, once they added the Bride Whale, I was like, wow, that sounds really unfun to get, and I just didn't play. And then I just kind of ignored it, and I made videos just on the events. Um, and, um,. This game was good up to the first event. Exactly! The, and then this game... The events just ruined it. And they just didn't know what to do with it after that. And again, the, like I said in the Abyssrium Pole video, they, um... Or in the last Abyssrium Pole... Uh, the, the Abyssrium World video. I'm gonna say that wrong every single time. See, this is a fine... The creatures aren't even bad. That's the one thing the Abyssrium games never do wrong. The, the creatures do look good. Um, are the friends, I guess. But, um, the, the events, once they started doing events, they stopped updating the game. There's just nothing new. The, the, the create friends ticket, the, the ad to create a creature, basically, that's the only new thing. That, that's the only thing that is, uh, that's new that they've done in months since the second event. The second event added, which it was still event stuff, but it added... Mr. This Guy Man over here, which again is just watch more ads. But you get these things and stuff. That was neat. Um, so, but that was the last gameplay feature. Like Abyssrium, regular Abyssrium. They didn't even follow like the curve of regular Abyssrium, where in regular Abyssrium it was like, oh, they added fusion fish, they added the freshwater tank, they added event tanks. They added, um, the coolest part in regular Abyssrium was in 2016, in my opinion. Um, every few months, or every, every, like, three weeks, they would add four fish. They would always be hidden, and you could always get them pretty much anywhere in the vitality curve. So you just had to figure out the unlocks, and that was really cool. Because there was always something new to do every month. Uh, every few weeks, really. I forget exactly how often it was. I think it was, like, every two weeks, actually. And that was really cool, uh, and I, I really wish they just kept up with that because it gave you a reason to keep playing. You 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 could get bored, and it's like, oh oh, the app updated. There must be new fish, and you buy the new fish, and it was enjoyable. But yeah, the events in this, uh, yeah, they just don't feel like events. Uh, skill reach. This uh, you've already reached. I've been playing this for twenty minutes. 30 minutes and we've already reached the point where I can't I can't feasibly do this on stream That's like 10, you know, that would take an hour of waiting for the skill recharge things to do so I'm I already can't show you anymore it Crashed this might be due to the emulator. I don't know um, Though I played this on emulator before and it didn't crash like this F in the chat for both the game crashing and the event basically being over in terms of this live stream. 
I wanted this game to be good, you know? I never want a game to be bad. I'm not one of those people that, like, just enjoys raging at stuff. I, that's not this kind of channel. That's not my kind of stuff. And I don't think I attract that kind of audience. But... It crashed already. I can't even tell if it saved. I don't think it saved my progress. <laughs> I think it's... I think it's dead. I don't think... Well, the good news is that we have another live stream coming up, everybody, because I, I, we may be ending this one even earlier than I expected. Um, but we have Donkey Kong Country, which was my first video game I ever owned. That and Yoshi's Island. I got both of them. I was a lucky boy. Um, so live stream in about four hours. So I, I wasn't going to be able to go on too long to, to uh, this morning either anyway. So Donkey Kong Country tonight. Um, it's celebrating 11 years on YouTube, by the way. Uh, my old uh, channel was Tap Tap the Magnificent 11 years ago. Um, but the actual anniversary is the 27th. That's when I made my first YouTube channel. Um, and if you watch some of my super old, super cringe, ancient videos, you can actually hear me introduce myself as Tap Tap the Magnificent. And uh, I brought those channels, I, I brought those videos over to here. I think I only had like 30 or 40 videos, maybe, which is, I guess, still a lot, but depending on the type of content, it's crashed again. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, so, for, for people that think I named myself after Abyssrium, joke's on you, jerk, because I had this name 10 years ago. I, I changed my name to Sir Tap Tap um, about a year after I made that first account, because Tap Tap and the Magnificent was just too long. It was too long, and um, I just went for Sir Tap Tap because just Tap Tap, you had to have a unique name, and somebody already had Tap Tap in the first place, and just I wouldn't be able to race to get just Tap Tap, but Sir Tap Tap was unique enough, um, so that ended up working really well. <laughs> oh oh oh! It, uh, it, yeah, it goes. Yeah, I, I thought it crashed again. It's, yeah, we're obviously not going to be able to. How much progress did we lose? Oh, not that much. Okay, it did save. Um, but yeah, can I get any of these Greek tortoise? No. And the, the thing is, you feel like, oh, maybe... Uh, another thing that I hate in poll is it's completely 100% linear. If you get stuck on this thing and you have to wait for things, you like scroll the list like, okay, maybe I can get the booby. And it's like, oh no, that requires the dolphin. Okay, what does the dolphin require? Oh, it requires the mirror ray. Okay, what does the mirror ray require? Okay, it requires the tortoise. Okay, the to oh, the tortoise is what I'm stuck on. Shit. <laughs> everything. Everything is like that. Everything is completely sequential almost. And the main fish, a little bit less so. But for the most part, still, yes, very sequential. The events are 100%. Um, but yeah. Yep, 11 years. Started this in college. Um, I forget which year in college exactly. Uh, a junior or... Sophomore, I forget which. I, re I do remember sitting in... No, I think it was... I think it was sophomore. Because I remember which building I was in and I moved around. And I think every year I was in a different dorm or I was... I, at least not the dorm from the previous year. I went to the honors dorm two or three years, but I would be in different floors. I'd be in different sections. And uh, I was on... I was on the other side of the dang river once. Um, which... <laughs> That was a pain in the butt because I had to walk to every class, so I didn't like that door as much. Anyway, um, I'm afraid to play this game because it will break <laughs> and freeze. Um, I think this is an emulation thing. This Some games get on worse with emulators. I don't know why this game in particular started being bad about it. Because, I mean, every stream that we've done, that I've done on Abyss Stream, it's been on emulators. So, I mean, it's not like it always does this. This is particularly bad but uh, hey <laughs> it's abyssrium them adding bugs is like you know a time-honored tradition also give me a level up all corals button because like look at the, I this is 90% of the gameplay in abyssrium pole is going through this menu and furiously upgrading coral and you don't even know which coral is the one that you need to upgrade you don't know which one is going to be the one that gives you the next letter right you don't know that so you just have to go through here and mash buttons and it's really frustrating it's, um... Oh, hey, we got a, our bot thing, finally. I, I, will, I was wondering if that would work. 
our bot finally tells us when people subscribe and stuff. That's cool. I'm not, I'm, <laughs> I don't usually do all the fancy streaming stuff. I don't have like bullhorn noises when people donate and stuff, but I've been trying to like figure out the, uh, the, the Streamlabs bot and stuff that kind of announces like, oh, hey, somebody subscribed and blah, blah, blah. So, um, I'm trying to figure that stuff out. If anybody knows better, like what to do with that crap, if anybody else streams and has good, like, good ideas on what works with that. Um, and like what stuff is good, what stuff is I should avoid in terms of like bots and encouraging audience participation stuff. Let me know in the Discord. The Discord is the best way to reach me, by the way. Let me just... I think that command should pop up the thing. Um, the Discord is pretty much always the best way to reach me. You know what's funny? Um, I have the chat. So I have the chat up here, right? I have the chat showing up um, on my live stream. And, you know, I can see that preview in my streaming software. Your chat messages show up in in my streaming software before they show up in my YouTube window. Because I, I have another window up with YouTube. <laughs> and so the, the actual regular YouTube um, takes longer to show me for some reason. It's kind of funny. Um, wow. <laughs> I would have to do this seven more times, which, again, I'm not going to stream. I'm not going to be streaming for that long. Um, <laughs> I was curious as to how an Abyssrium poll stream would go because I've had the definite impression that, um, that less people enjoy poll and that less people will watch it. <laughs> we, we've definitely confirmed that, so... I hate to say it, but poll is kind of a dead game, and I will be having a video pretty soon that's kind of a post-mortem on poll and what I think went wrong, which that segment of the video will be very long. Um, what I think went right, which I think there were some things. I don't think it's completely bad and com terrible in all ways, um, but there's some definite strong negatives, and I'll probably have to... You know what sucks about that video is I'll have to actually have a script. I, I never do that. Um, the one time I kind of had a script is when I did um, the Organic Panic interview that I did. I had a script for that, and um, God, I think that may be the only video I've done in like years where I actually had a, um, I had a script. I don't, that's not, that's not my way of doing things. But I'll have to have at least something to keep me kind of on the rails. But this game, man. What a beautiful aesthetic. What I think this game should have ultimately been, put this t in the put this in the, the regular tank. It, it, put this in regular Abyssrium, make it a separate tank, and bring the UI upgrades. I like the UI visually. It has some major bugs that really frustrate me, like the thing where I keep clicking this stupid thing. Um, but otherwise, I like the UI. Bring the UI into regular Abyssrium, do some upgrades in regular Abyssrium. And that's just, that's most generally my, my biggest problem with how they do everything. They just, once they start doing events and start putting out, you know, a $10 creature every month, um, they stop updating the game and there stops being any new features. And to me, it kind of makes sense if they just had one app and everything was in that. But now they have like, they're gonna have three apps. And if there's just three apps and nothing ever changes in any of them and they just only do events, why are there three things? If it's just because they can sell three creatures a month, that is A, that is so dumb. B, they could just put three creatures into the one app. Because they did that before. They had, um, one time they had like a Halloween tank event creature to purchase. And then they had like, like a regular event creature to purchase. If all they want to do is add three in-app purchases a month, they could just do that. Like, I, I'm, I, I complain about them as much as anyone for being money grubby and stuff, but if they just put in in-app purchases that you don't have to buy and don't really do anything of value, frankly, uh, that's like my, that, 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 I don't really care about that very much. I just ignore those. I don't care about those. So, so just do that, frankly. Also, um, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this little penguin dude because he's like, oh, do the myth, do the event. It's like, wait a minute. There's there's already a thing to do that, buddy. I don't need you. I don't need your help. Open treasure chest eight times. Look, look, all these all these things. Just watch ads. See, watch thirty ads. 
Watch 50 ads. Watch 30 ads. It's the same thing. That's the same thing. I feel bad for how invested I am given I refuse to give them money at least. I would like to support the game I like. See, that's the thing. When a game is this money grubby, it has the opposite effect on me. I'm very, you know, very oppositional defiant <laughs> disorder about that, which I was briefly sort of diagnosed with as a kid, and I think eventually not. I don't know. Um, I was very, very anti-authority and very like, if you want me to do a thing that I really don't want to do and you're like, oh, we're going to make you do this thing. I'm like, no, no. And the thing, I don't dislike spending money in games. I mean, God, I, as I sit, I'm looking right now, just over my computer monitors, I have literal thousands of dollars worth of physical video games in a big ass bookshelf dedicated just to video games. Uh, it's a fancy ornate bookshelf too and just full of games a lot of them you know bought at full price at launch a bunch of limited editions too i'm completely fine with spending money on video games i have probably spent more on video games than pretty much anybody watching here um aside from maybe some collectors i don't know um mobile gamers don't tend to be collectors but you know there's obviously going to be some amount of overlap um but when the game is free and it just wants you to buy like, spend $8 on this thing. What does this thing do? Well, nothing. You just get a look at it. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't want that. Um, I want to spend, I want to spend things and just get a game to play and just not have to worry about spending more. I want things to be a one-time purchase. Um, see, like, the Midas Tap? I think that's an all right in that purchase because that permanently changes the game. That's like a permanent upgrade that really meaningfully helps, right? But the fish things, they don't really do anything. Like they give you a little bit more vitality. They just lower the grind a little bit, but it's really ultimately not that much. When I give them money to support them, so they'll update. On the other hand, I feel like they'll just use it as more reason to continue this way. See, that's, a, that's another problem. Like I want to support developers and I want to support people doing, you know, reasonable things. But when your game is just all like this, and it's just constant, you know, watch ad stuff, you don't feel like giving them money is going to encourage them to do regular stuff. That's why whenever a new... Pokemon games tend to have decent in-app purchases, and they'll be like a really cheap in-app purchase that genuinely, genuinely does improve the game and, you know, reduce grind or something, or gives you a unique Pokemon or something. And it's like really cheap. Um, like Pokemon... What was it called? Pokemon Cafe Mix, I actually bought the um, the cake decorator Pikachu, right? Because it's because it was cute, and um, you know it gives you more stuff to to you know it gives you a new protagonist basically, and uh, it gives you more ways to solve puzzles, and it was like a buck or something. It was like a couple bucks. Um, Pokemon adventure pokemon quest pokemon quest um pokemon quest was really interesting because for like 30 bucks it stops being a grind and you can just do whatever basically um after 30 bucks the game completely changes its behavior and you get so much extra stuff that you basically can always recharge your stamina and it's like the stamina system becomes meaningless right so it's no longer it doesn't feel like a free-to-play game anymore it just feels like a game and if I can pay 30 bucks, 40 bucks, to just make this game play normal and no in-app purchases, no ads, I would do that. But you can't do that. The, the closest thing is the subscription puffin, and that's like $100, and it's only for a year. And this game's been out for four years. I'm just not going to spend $400 on this game. Jeez. They don't care about your enjoyment, they just want the money. Yeah. It kind of sucks. And the thing is, this game used to have a great community. This game used to be great. Now, I'm not insulting the people here that still enjoy the game, but back in 2017, 2018, the community for this game was really big. There was a lot of people that played. Um, people would join every live stream. Every video would have like 50,000 views, right? Um, tons and tons of comments. People would be really excited. People would be telling me the unlocks. Um, and it was really fun. And we would have lots of conversations about it in the Discord and everything. And over time, as the game just stayed the same and just released really grindy events, it, so many few less pu people play every every month. And it just sucks. 
because it could have been great. They could have continued that way. But um, they wanted to be really greedy with the events. And um, yeah, I would say, well, the obvious point of peaking would be the 2018 Valentine's Day event, which everyone hated. Um, because they just turned player hostile, really. And then they removed the Facebook features, which the hidden fish and the Facebook features were the two things that really had you talking with other people, right? With hidden fish, you couldn't play the game solo, which might seem like a bad thing, but that meant you, you went online, you met other people that played the game and you talked about the game. And that was really cool. I love that about hidden fish because it gave, it turned a single player game into having a social element. And that was awesome. I liked that a lot. And now there's no hidden fish. There's no reason to talk to anybody that plays the game. And it just feels like this really solitary, boring experience where you just watch ads and there's nothing to it than that. There's no mystery. There's no strategy. There's no communication. It's just ads. And the thing is, it's not like the game didn't have ads before. Back at its peak, you still had to watch ads like every five goddamn minutes. You still had to recharge your skills to keep playing stuff. You still had to to, to play the old the, the old way that um, when Song of the Moon buffed your candy, you had to watch ads to recharge Song of the Moon. It was always a game with ads. It's just that it was enjoyable. They didn't change the amount of ads. They just made it feel more soulless. It sucks. <laughs> if they had let us talk to each other, they'd be in danger of a revolt. I kind of feel like they learned that after the um, anniversary, or the Halloween, not the Valentine's Day event. But. <laughs> I, I just do kind of, kind of find, bleh find it kind of funny the the regular game for all its faults um the regular game does still get an acceptable amount of views um abyssrium pole doesn't abyssrium pole is really clear that the community has just abandoned this game and with complete reason i completely agree with the decision to abandon this game it, it sucks i wish the game was good but man so I'm interested to see how world shakes out, but it's got to be better than this, frankly. There's got to be a lot more to it. And did you notice they removed? They used to be like um, icebergs in the background and stuff, and it made the world feel more alive. And it made it made you feel like this was like a part of something, right? It made you feel like there was a world here, and now it's gone. You just this. Did global warming melt the other ice caps? Is that what happened? But I, I don't know why they removed that. I really I really don't get that. That makes no sense. It's really unfortunate, but keep in mind I haven't played much time in it yet. I got it for the penguins. See, the thing is, I was talking about this earlier. The regular game is fun, um, roughly up until the um, humpback whale. And then the game just basically stops completely. And it's, it's a shame. I did enjoy while I was playing it. It was just an ad fest, but... I could at least create like five new creatures a day for a fair amount of, well, I would say one to five new creatures, like new species a day for a couple weeks. And that was pretty fun. But then you just dead end and you can't get the last fish. And then the events aren't really very much to do. I'm kind of torn on events being, um, events never expiring. Um, they don't really feel like events at all in this game, but I don't necessarily dislike... I'll, I'll say it, I'll say it. I do like that the events don't expire. I think there should be some kind of incentive to play them during the time that they release. I do think it's a little weird, but I've never been a person that liked missable stuff. Um, I would rather a game let me get everything. I, I'm not one of those people that brags about, oh, I got the super rare Gashapon pull pull thing. Um, I would rather never have anything unique that other players don't get to have if that meant that I get to get all of the other stuff. I, I don't care about gloating over other people. I don't care that I have a unique super special thing other people won't be able to get. I don't like that. I, I would rather everybody gets access to everything. <laughs> I got it for the penguins. Valid enough, though there are penguins in regular Abyssrium. I would honestly say the one thing that I do like about this game is that the, the land creatures. 
that, that, that I think they should have just had an abyssrium that's on land and it's just land creatures and it has new gameplay elements and it shouldn't have been just so many fish repeats and if they did that I don't think the events not being polar would have bothered me. I mean, I don't think having the pole, I don't think that was a reasonable idea at all. There just, there just aren't enough creatures at the pole. But just land Abyssrium, it wouldn't be weird because like, look, it's the pole. It's a juvenile French angelfish. I don't think those live at the pole. I don't think any of these live at the pole. But if it was just land critters, it wouldn't matter. Penguins are indeed super cute. They're good. Penguins are good. And the graphics are, are decent in this, but I don't feel excited for the fish. I mostly use the game to watch them. Anxious need a distraction, so I nice them as a real goal to work towards. Yeah, I, I feel pretty much the same. Idle games are great to just like, you just get that generic feeling of progress. But the problem is when that progress stops. And in this game, once you once you need to get the Bride Whale, it's pretty much over. And the events just <laughs> it's just watch a bunch of ads. Which an interesting thing in this game, um, I pretty much stopped playing because I need um, progressing in the ads or in, in the ads. I mean, I'm not wrong, but progressing in the events. Um, requires progressing through the main game because it all costs vitality. So if you get stuck where I am, where you just need to make a you know a billion miles of progress and it's super slow, wait for the events because you need to you know you need to watch ads and stuff to do the events anyway. So you kind of double up on your progress. That is one positive I see from how they do the um, intermingling the events and the regular vitality. Because if events didn't exist in this game, I would have just not bothered at all. Um, I still don't think the events were handled all that well. But because of the fact they completely abandoned the main game, the events are really the only reason to, to peek back at it. And that's why I think... I'm going to be bold and say, I hope Abyssrium World does not have a single event for six months. I hope it's all regular game updates. I hope they add new UI stuff. I hope they add new gameplay, new fish, new unlocks, new social features, crap like that. No events. They can add in-app purchases and stuff, whatever. But I don't want events. Not, not to start with. Events are usually like, hey, we've run out of things to do in this game and we just want you to come back once a month and buy the new, <laughs> buy a new in-app purchase. But like, think about, think about most um, Gashapon games, right? Think about like Makai Wars. I mean, it's a pretty obscure one, but the first event they had, it, it took a few months. It took a few months for the Usalia thing. And that wasn't even like a pay us money event. That wasn't, you know, I don't even, I don't even think they had like a special Gashapon with it. Sure, now the game is monthly events, but it's like two years old. But yeah, I think six months would be an amazing target to just update the game. Because the Mystery and Pole, the main game, there was really only two upgrades. There was only two uh, updates that improved the main tank. There was um, two big batches of fish they released that, um, that added a bunch of stuff. And th 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 that was kind of annoying because they changed all of the unlocks for the prior fish. Which I really don't appreciate that as somebody that makes a guide. Probably won't happen. Yeah, how long was it for the first poll event? It was like two months? It was really fast. Because it released in January and then there was a... The temperate... Let, 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 let's look. Um, so tap tap poll. I forget that I have this information because I published this guide. So I published the poll guide... Um, probably this first or second day that it came out. January 8th. And then when was the event? Temperate Forest. Uh, it was about three months. That's longer than I thought. Is it really three? Yeah. Hmm. Was the for- wait, wait, was the Temperate Forest the first one? 
Oh, that was the spring event. That was the spring event. Hold on. I don't have the... Oh, my, my guide links to the Temperate Forest event twice. I'll have to correct that. That's my bad. Um, so tap tap spring event. Uh, pull spring event. Ah, it was it was only three months. That that sounds right. It was only three months for the first uh, update. So yeah, so give me six months with no updates, or with no with no events. Updates, yes. Events, no. Give us give us some real updates. Sounds like something a good company would do. Well, oh, no, shut up, me. Um. Oh, when you accidentally open your own live stream in your thing, and it's like, yes, listen to yourself. So, I gotta stop talking, because I have to stream in about three hours. And I'm getting pretty hungry, so I'm gonna get some food. But, remember to join us in the Discord as well. Thanks for watching. I <laughs> This will probably be my last Abyssrium poll stream ever, because um, it just does not get many viewers. <laughs> which, I'm not surprised. Frankly, the game is basically dead. Um, and I expect it to be basically abandoned after Abyssrium World comes out. So, feed yourself. I will. I think I'm gonna get checkers. I'll be bad and get some fast food. But, um... Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm hungry, so... Good night- well, good afternoon! And, I uh, hope to see you at the DKC stream. If, even if you only play Abyssrium, um... I will have a lot to talk about in that DKC stream. That'll be a big nostalgia stream. So if you're new to the channel or just want to hear more about the channel, definitely check it out. It's basically my anniversary of the channel stream. Uh, that's why I'm going to play one of my first games ever. That's why it's um, kind of my YouTube anniversary. My YouTube anniversary is actually Monday, and I didn't want to do a live stream on Monday. Less people watch on Monday. I'm tired on Mondays, and it's, it's just Monday, right? So... Yeah, um, we, we decided to do it on the weekend instead. So, see you later.